in today's experiment we're gonna use that benzyl and we're gonna do reduction with the sodium borhydrate 50 milligram of the benzyl as a reduction region we're gonna use sodium borhydrate Right now I have 50 milligram of the benzyl in my reaction flask which is reaction test tube and I'm gonna do add 0.5 milliliter of ethanol Now I'm gonna do put an ice bath let it cool down and then after I will put the 10 milligram of sodium borhydrate. Now I'm adding 10 milligram of the sodium borhydrate. I add 10 milligram of sodium borhydrate. After addition of sodium borhydrate, as you see, we have some bubbles there forming. And there's no benzyl, everything dissolved. It's been 10 minutes. The reaction is complete, so I'm gonna add 0.5 milliliter of water. Slowly. We add 0.5 milliliter of water and now we're gonna heat that up to boiling point. After reaching the boiling point, add some water till we're gonna get cloudy or reaction mixture. So slowly we're gonna add water drop by drop. After adding water till getting a little cloudy and as you see our products start to form. That's how that now looks like our reaction. That's our vacuum filtration setup. I'm now going to filter our product. We're done with the vacuum filtration and this is our product hydrobenzene and we're gonna get the weight for it let's see how much we have and 
we're going to run melting point for that also. That is the melting point range for our hydrobenzene. 